Here we are going to create a spring with the help of coil feature. So first we need 2D sketch. So drop down the menu, select 2D, start 2D sketch. Now plane I am going to select X, Y plane. Now first I am going to select line, activate line tool. Start from origin point, go up upper side, press escape key to out. Click line or right click and here you will see construction line, center line, whatever line you can keep. So I am going to select center line. Center line is very helpful. Again activate circle. Now press escape key to out of circle. Dimension. Dimension let's say 7. Okay. Now distance from here to this line. This is going to be diameter. So let's say 80. That's fine. Even define this line also so that our drawing going to be fully finished now escape key to out of dimension now select hold shift key select circle point and end point of the line and make one relation constraint here see horizontal constraint now see this is fully constrained drawing finish sketch now here activate coil feature Now, don't use last one, say no new preset, no preset. Input geometry profile already selected by default because there is only one profile, close profile and one axis. Now here behavior, you have to choose this out of these four. So I am going to choose revolution and height. How many revolution? Let's say seven revolution I want. And... Uh, the height of this spring, let's say 175. And reverse uh, right hand or front hand, uh, left hand, you can select from here. So I'm going to keep right hand. Now here also one more thing in close start, close end. You can control the end point and start point of closing end point and start point of spring. So if I'm going to choose close start point, now is first is flat angle if i am going to select front view now look this is 180 degree if if i am going to keep 90 degree so this is flat up to 90 degree but after that it is going to be transition angle transition angle going to start from end of flat angle to the start of full pitch this is the transition angle so here i am going to keep 180 See from here to here it is flat from here to the center of uh, this line it's going to be transition angle close end. Now come at top 180 degree is flat angle and transition angle 90 degree up to from end point to from the mid midpoint is going to be transition angle. Now output name let's say is spring. okay look hold shift key and your center mouse and rotate component let me assign some color um, uh, steel polish now right click edit feature now here one option called taper let's say 10 degree okay now look right click edit feature if you say minus 10 minus 8 okay now see you can change the position of taper or direction but we will keep zero even though you can see axis, you can change the direction, reverse direction, front direction. So this is the simple tutorial how to use coil feature and create a spring in Autodesk Inventor. Now even if you want to right click on a sketch and click share sketch. So the same sketch we can see here. Use for second coil. See, you will see here now it is written last used because we apply for share sketch so this is the advantage if you keep 
share sketch and you will see the option here don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and autodesk inventor thanks for watching